Venezuela and Colombia agreed to strengthen the number of troops stationed along its shared border at the informal crossings. The decision was taken on Thursday during a meeting between the defense ministers of the two countries. The agreement aims to tackle down criminal groups which are often uh, present there for drug peddling. The officials did not specify how many troops would be sent to the border, nor when. Colombian Defense Minister highlighted his country's efforts to hit criminal groups' finances as a way of weakening them. Clashes were about to erupt in, in Spain's Barcelona between squatters and their opponents. On Thursday, timely interference by the police contained the conflict which was triggered during a demonstration in a posh locality in the city. It aimed to highlight the issue of squatting at the centre of the upcoming elections. China is continuing its diplomatic ties in Europe with its high-level visit to the Netherlands. Dutch King Willem Alexander received Chinese Vice President Han Shang early on Thursday, while Prime Minister Ruto held political talks with the Vice President in the afternoon. The visit comes after rising tensions between China and the West as China continues to face questions regarding its relation with Russia. Meanwhile, the European Union has sought to reduce its dependence on China and wants Beijing to be more forceful in addressing the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Japanese experts have raised concerns about strengthening relations between US, Japan and South Korea. They warned that the alliance and the United States' constant interference in the Asian affairs will not bring peace in East Asia, but would rather escalate the tensions. The concerns come after Japan altered its national security policy and Prime Minister Fumio Kishida paid visits to both US and South Korea. Reports have claimed that the Sudanese army and the paramilitary RSF have signed uh, an agreement of principles in Saudi Arabia's Jeddah. A local media outlet said that the two warring parties committed to provide all civilians a safe passage to escape from conflict areas and also protect civilian supplies. Israel and Gaza traded heavy fire on Thursday. This is the third day of the worst escalation of violence in months that has killed at least 30 people. The rocket were fired from the Gaza Strip that killed one person in the central Israeli city of Rewat and injured at least two others. Three others sustained uh, injuries elsewhere in Israel. Meanwhile, Egypt mediated for a truce between Israel and the Islamic Jihad group, while the European Union called for an immediate ceasefire. Pakistan's Supreme Court on Thursday declared Imran Khan's arrest as unlawful. The top court's ruling came two days after he was dramatically detained from Islamabad High Court by the paramilitary forces in the country. The lawyer of the Pakistan Tehreek and Saf chief said that the top court reversed all the legal proceedings against him. He also said that the former Prime Minister of Pakistan is now in Supreme Court's custody. He set to appear at the Islamabad High Court later today.